Okay, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys around uh, yearn.finance. Um, I earn, previously I, I earn, yearn, YFI. Many of you guys are familiar with this token. I think some people call it uh, Wi-Fi, Yifi. I've heard so many different things, but I have became interested in yearn just over about maybe six weeks ago or so. Um, there was a lot of buzz around Twitter. Those of you who don't know, um, you can or don't follow me on Twitter. You need to go follow me on Twitter. That's at elima underscore I, I, I. I talk a lot about cryptocurrency and just random thoughts there. But anyways, um, for those of you who do follow me, you'll know that about six weeks ago, I became interested in Yearn. And I'm not the type of person who just likes to, you know, just read a bunch of articles and hypothesize about what's new and what's going to work. I really like to get my hands dirty. So as soon as I started learning a little bit about Yearn, I decided, okay, well, let me go use Yearn. So um, I started using Yearn, and this is the home page. You guys can see right here. Um, I have my MetaMask connected already. I've made videos in the past about how you can set up your MetaMask, and you can go watch those, or I'll have that pop up right now, so you can just click. But um, essentially, Yearn is a DeFi aggregator. And what do I mean by that? Decentralized finance is this idea of taking traditional banking services and using algorithms and protocols to, um, you know, fulfill those services. So you can see like lending um, cover is insurance, right? Um, these vaults, um, vaults, which is like kind of the main product of Yearn. Um, vaults is kind of like a, a savings account or uh, maybe a, a CBD account, I think is what they're called, certificate of deposit, whatever. Um, yeah, so you click on vaults. This is the the main the main kind of uh, product. And what vaults are is it's a place where you can take your crypto, and the vault will switch between different lending protocols, different uh, strategies that are submitted by the community. And essentially what the vaults do is it takes your cryptocurrency that's deposited and it goes and finds the highest yield that's available for that crypto project. So you can see here, um, DAI, 15%, um, uh, TrueUSD, 17%. And so um, about three, a couple of weeks ago, whenever I decided that I was going to try this thing out, I went and deposited... Um, some money into a vault, some Gemini dollars. And as you can see here, um, I deposited $600 or I deposited $300. And over the course of the last six weeks, I have an earnings of $16,000. So that's quite a bit of um, capital appreciation. And this kind of like recently happened. So I, now that I've had this experience, I feel a lot more comfortable sort of making this content of for yearn and um because for a while the gemini dollars were sitting in there and it wasn't actually the vault was not engaging in a yield farming strategy so it wasn't earning any money but um it started actually doing so and so now it's making money and um i've just had such a great experience i'm not going to get into exactly how in this video like um these strategies come about or how they're submitted or anything like that. But I do want to just show you guys, you know, how easy it is to deposit some, some money into a vault. So, um, as you can see, I already have deposited uh, $300 and I have another close to $400 right here. That's available to be deposited. Um, I just added that to my wallet. And so I'm going to go ahead and deposit that and you click hundred percent. Pause it all and we get a transaction on MetaMask, which is way too high. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that right now. Well, that is highly unfortunate. The fees are way too high. Uh, it's just not justified for me. So I'm not actually going to do that. But whenever the fees come back down, I will. And maybe I'll make a video at that time just showing you guys how easy it is. Um, but what happens afterwards is you get, um, you know, the the Gemini dollars or whatever crypto you deposit is going to go over to this side of the balance sheet. And you receive this thing called YGSD. So you can think about this as 
yearn Gemini dollars, right? And what the Y stands for is it reflects the fact that this is an interest bearing um, instrument, right? I actually don't know if these are just token. I'm pretty sure it's just like a token on the Ethereum uh, blockchain, but these tokens are interest bearing. And so what that means is these Gemini dollar tokens are going out and they are going and farming different strategies. They're trying to find the highest APY that's available, whether that be on Aave or Compound or Curve, um, just any of these decentralized protocols. And it's going to go and switch between the protocols as it sees fit just to get the highest yield. And so it's yield farming on your behalf. And yeah, I think this video has gone on long enough. This is the first of the urine videos I'm making, but trust me, there's going to be a lot more coming out. I've been very excited about urine and just kind of needed to make sure um, that I really understand how the, th the protocol works and I'll still be learning and experimenting. But um, I think it's a great product and I've had tremendous success and I want to be able to share this with you guys. So um, yeah, go look into urine.finance, YFI, um, comment like subscribe below all that good stuff dislike if you feel um i respond to all the comments so let me know what you think see you guys in the next video peace